Hello and welcome to Wing In It. And welcome back to another gameplay video here. I've got something very exciting today. This is a bit of a streamer showdown. I'm going to be playing against another content creator here in Alton Mognu. Now he is a streamer over on Twitch and uh, he's streaming this game live uh, as we are playing it. So uh, if you want to see his future live streams, do me a favor, go and check out his channel, drop a follow, show him a bit of support. Uh, there's a link downstairs in the video description. And uh, if you're lucky, you might still be able to see a past broadcast of this very game from his perspective. Uh, but of course, many future live streams as well, uh, playing Wingspan. So yeah, do go uh, show a bit of support there. But for now, we're going to jump into this game and uh, see how we get on in the showdown of the streamers. All right, here we go. We're going second. And uh, let's take a look at what we've got in our starting hand. Okay, well, we have got... Some good options, got the Ibis, which I always like, Shrike Thrush, uh, interesting Forest Bird, but Pipe or Grieve as well, very, very nice. Uh, early game wetland digging bird, so uh, I've got Purple Martin in the tray, I'm sure he's going to take that. Um, got the Worm, got the Nectar as well, so I think, um, yeah, there's a couple of ways we could do this. Could, uh, could just rely on the Shrike Thrush and the Ibis. And um, yeah, get the Shrike Thrush down, get a bit of food, and then use the Ibis. But so uh, the Grebe is also very tempting, and it's it's quite tempting to just play that and do some digging. That's kind of classic early game wingspan, I think. Uh, Grebe and dig and hope for some better stuff. And um, yeah, just go from there. So definitely two different paths. I mean, it's very tempting. I think Ibis, probably I would go in the wetlands and hope to find more tucking birds, mute swan, something like that. Uh, if that was the kind of way I was going to go about this game, but um, I think, I think honestly, I think we're just going to go with the grebe. So let's keep, let's keep food like that. Actually, ooh, always look at the bonus card. Omnivore completely swayed me. Let's go, let's go with the, let's go with the ibis with the omnivore. Um, I think I like that, and I, I, I do like this shrike thrush. So I think we can, yeah, get that down in the forest, take a bit of food. Then do the ibis and go from there. So, never been swayed quite so uh, drastically by bonus card as I was there. Uh, but I do do like omnivore. So, yeah, a couple more points off this ibis. And as I say, I think I think there's potential. There's definitely potential to get a good wetlands going. So yeah, no surprise there. Uh, they do indeed take uh, the martin. And uh, flip up the cormorant, which again is another omnivore bird. So you've got some fish in this bird feeder. Could be, could be something. But I think for now, so we'll just get a bit of food, and uh, yeah, get the ibis, get the ibis down. Do some digging, and who knows? I mean, we might see some of those birds, of course, from our starting hand, coming up again. So uh, fish crow's going down. Looks like grasses might be the way here. Fish crow. Martin uh, is certainly a nice grassland, but we are going to take some food. Come on, Shrike Thrush. I'll take that. I'll take that. One rat early on is quite nice. And I think I think we're going to go caching. So this is always kind of an interesting decision point, I think, with these kind of birds. Um, there's a few of them, of course, that we know from the base game where you get that choice on the seed most commonly uh, if, if you want to cache or if you want to... Uh, keep the food, but we're going to cash here. So Ruddy Duck as well. Yeah, this this is going to be very much base game, it looks like, over here. Ruddy Duck, Fish Crow Martin. So that's kind of fun, kind of interesting. See how that works out. We're going full Oceani here with the Shrike Thrush and the Ibis. Um, and I think I'm going to take food again. There's there's two Nectar there. So why not strike while the iron is hot? And we're going to get some more caches as well. So, so Shrike Thrush fully delivering early on here, which is what we want. And yeah, I think we just go with the Ibis. Draw some cards. Uh, see what comes away. I don't think we're going to be competitive on this end of round. Uh, they got lots of uh, yeah platform nest spaces, so got to watch out. Um, and yeah, if uh, if he's going grass and here, I'm sure laying eggs is going to be top priority. Use the fish crow. Use the but drawing cards first of all. So I think makes sense. You know, you want to get a few extra cards, of course, if you're going Martin. Uh, give yourself more options to tuck and draw and cycle with. 
It certainly makes sense. Uh, but as I say, we will, I think, focus on this Ibis and see what that can do for us. So, okay, taking some stuff from the tray. I didn't actually really see what it was. So should be paying more attention. But as I say, Ibis. Ibis is going to go down. So a couple of extra points off the Omnivore. Very, very nice there. Malafowl as well. There's just lots of Omnivore birds coming up. So we could just really lead into that. Could see, uh, yeah, what that could do for us in this game. Um, definitely a high a high ceiling bonus card is the Omnivore. So very much hoping... Uh, very much hoping that we can find some more good birds and, uh, yeah, get, as I say, uh, some extra points there. So I'm sure we'll see some eggs going down. I'm sure we'll see uh, the Martin following shortly. But we will do our digging and see what it shows. So, yeah, eggs going down, no surprise. And um, I, I think I'm going to spend some food. I think I will spend some food. I've bigged up some of the birds in this tray, but I think early on, spend a food to reset the tray can be quite powerful. And uh, more Omni birds coming our way. So I think uh, even more coming our way. I think Clark's Nightcracker is good enough for me to pick up here. Let's shuffle the discard. All right. Come on, Cuckoo. I will be keeping you, thank you very much, uh, up against the Grassland's engine. And uh, that's where the Shrike Thrush is going to come in handy. So, Cup Nest Bases, of course. Uh, one of the two choices you can lay uh, lay the eggs on with the Cuckoo. So, I think we can go ahead and get that down. And um, go from there. So, Program Falcon has come up. That is also quite nice. Um, I'd sort of imagine... Yeah... Just trying to work out when they're going to be laying eggs. Um, if I need to get this down now or if I can take the falcon. Because I feel like he might take it. It's, it's pretty good. But two nectar already. So you've got to spend those on something um, this round. Um, I'm going to get this down. I, I, I don't want to miss out. I don't want to miss out on the egg if possible. So... Certainly, if Falcons there will take it, I think it's a good one to get in this wetlands uh, alongside Ibis. So, um, this is where I'm kind of wishing I had those three rats back because I'd be able to play the, the Falcon a whole lot easier. But um, I think with the prevalence of nectar, I'm happy to take the caches here as points and then grab some more nectar later, especially if we can. I mean, uh, I think Clark's Nutcracker could be a good option if we can build out this forest a bit more. Get some more points, get some more food. Um, when we are are taking food, then I'm quite happy. Uh, yeah, to spend more turns taking food and uh, keep those caches going. So we'll see what it's going to be here. But um, yeah, he is going to have to lay eggs. I think I think it's going to be Martin and then eggs. But you got to you got to be careful and you've got to make sure you are hitting the center round because. My plan is certainly to lay eggs uh, and get two on the Ibis, so we're definitely getting to two. He's going to have to think carefully here uh, and make sure he's getting three, because this, this is a gimme of an end of round. You're going grasslands and you've got all these egg spaces. So you definitely want to capitalise on that. And alright, it comes back round onto our turn. And the drawing cards, okay. Clearly not content. I mean, didn't pick up the Falcons, that's good. I was kind of worried that was going to happen. Um, but drawing more cards, I've still got these Nectar, so we'll see We'll see if uh, that's going to affect that final turn. But um, I think we I think we draw, because I do, I do want this Falcon. I think this is going to be good. And um, yeah, we could definitely do a Tuck there. I do think Longtail Tit or Canada Goose. Canada Goose could be useful later. That's one where if we do find a main duck or something, I'll want to have that in the discard pile. But uh, I don't want it badly enough to have it in my hand. I'll take the Longtail Tit as... Um, a tuck here, so yeah, last uh, last turn of the round, so got to play something to Nectar, I'm sure something will go down um, as I say, that might hurt uh, the end of round a, a little bit, but we'll lay our eggs um, 
I'll say on the Ibis. I um, was kind of hoping maybe I'd get a, a freebie coming through from this cuckoo. Um, can be super helpful with tempo early on just to get that free egg. You, you know, you get to play a bird before laying eggs. Obviously here, not too important given we do have to lay eggs anyway. So what has gone down? A barn owl has gone down in the forest. So okay, not content with uh, just going full on grasses here. But it does mean we are going to win this end of round. So uh, maybe the cuckoo has spooked my opponent a little bit. Pick up the pieces on the end of round. Got to win that. Four points. Very nice. Coming to round two. What have we got? A northern mockingbird. Yes, please. I will take that. Very, very nice. And we'll see what we get here on the ibis. Okay, well, little bastard's not too bad, but I think... Um, my general rule of thumb with the ibis is take the tucks where you can. It has to be something amazing. Like if it was uh, a main duck coming back from the grave for me to um, yeah, go and skip the tuck and keep the bird there So uh, he's taking food, we're going to do the same, I want uh, I want some nectar here, we are getting it so what can the shrike thrush do this time, yeah I had a feeling that was going to be the case uh, <laughs> does tend to happen uh, after a, a run of good caches run of good re-rolls come crashing back down to earth but I think three is still pretty good and um, I think I will do this nutcracker okay taking more food lots of nectar ah getting some caches as well over there very very nice um, but yeah Clark's nutcracker that can go down omnivore obviously a couple more points um, but getting a bit more food here I think is crucial so we do need uh, to get the food going and uh, we have got some extra cards to throw for them. So um, just note this, this end of round goal. Why no power birds? So maybe I should have kept the little bustard. Because uh, that would certainly have helped. Given we have no others in our hands. Um, but never mind. I think we can still focus on... Uh, yeah, Falcon Mockingbird in this wetlands. And I think just go heavy on that. Draw lots of cards. I mean, if the falcon hits, I'd imagine we're going to copy this ibis. And um, potentially be getting three tucks every turn, which I think is pretty solid. And then, as I say, just drawing aggressively, seeing lots of cards, hoping to find that mute swan main duck. I think that has to be the approach here. So we'll see what goes down here. Um, I'm definitely hoping... Uh, Definitely hoping he goes Grassens, because that is going to be, yeah, super strong for us with this Cuckoo. Getting the free eggs. We've got space on the shri Shrike Thrush. <laughs> it's always a struggle to say. Um, and we're going to have space on the Mockingbird as well. So go back for more cards. So, yeah, very aggressive card drawing here. Clearly not content with what he's already got. We will go ahead and take some food. We are going to grab... Um, some nectar, so I think the honey eater's not going to get used. Um, but I think for sure um, these brown powers will. So I think I think we're going to cash again. And oh my, what a return that is! Um, I could definitely keep a couple of these and use them on the falcon. But I think there's two nectars there that are staring me in the face, and uh, I'm quite happy to go and take food again. So. We'll do that and we'll take our three caches. So yeah, this this the Shrike Thrush is, is working well. I do like this bird, but it can be very hit and miss. Um, it's definitely hitting here. And very much welcome to see that. So Yeah, I'm hoping I'm hoping what I can do here. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> this is uh this is kinda interesting. I was gonna say I'm hoping what I could do here is take um take food and then just play Falcon and Mockingbird back to back. It does rely on a free egg coming through, which um, I'm not I'm not positive is going to happen. So I think what we're going to have to do here is actually take a berry so that I can play Mockingbird next round um, if needed. And uh, I could only take so much nectar here, but I will take I think like this. Yeah, so I have two nectars. That'll be for the Falcon. We're going to cash here. Shrike Thrush will miss, but I think that's okay. So we can do, we can do Falcon, and then if we do get a free egg, we can play Mockingbird, and if we don't, I think we just lay eggs. 
get ready to get this Mockingbird down. And we're 48 points already. I think a lot of that, yeah, is tied up in the Nectars, but um, we're doing all right. We're doing all right here. A lot in the caches, so um, we'll see. We'll see how much more that carries on. But I'm sure there's some grand plans over here. What's going down? Ooh, white wagtail. Okay. Okay, we've got some teal action. So they are going to lay eggs. That's, that's good. That's good news. Uh, we'll get our falcon down in anticipation of said free egg. Because, um, yeah. I mean, you've got to lay eggs here just to use the wagtail, of course. Uh, got to take all four types of actions, but... Need eggs as well, just to just to play some birds. So hopefully he's going to lay eggs now. But uh, kind of depends. I'd sort of imagine it's going to be eggs and then a bird, and then you play another bird with the wagtail. With all this food, that feels like the way this is going to go. And I'm sure he's got a white power somewhere in this hand. Maybe a nice bonus card bird. Uh, for playing with the Wagtail. But there we go. Free egg. Excellent news. Means I could have kept the Nectar. Wasn't a risk I wanted to take. Let's get this Mockingbird down. So, in the wetlands. Very nice indeed. And yeah, the uh, the engines come together. The engines come together. I think we've got a good, uh, good foundation here. End of round two. Uh, and it's nice and open. So, if we do find more lovely tucking birds, which is definitely what I want... Uh, we can just add to this wetlands, build it out a little bit more. And hopefully with the support of some free eggs coming through, we'll be able to do that. So we'll see what's going to go down. But I would imagine, I think, do you still play the Purple Martin? I think you probably do. But it does depend. Because I'm sure there's some nice big point strong ground powers in here and I wouldn't be surprised to see some forest birds go down because I think that's going to be the key uh, to use the whitetail effectively always food seems to be the limiting resource I think um, especially in a situation where you've got loads and loads of cards so oh no we get another egg excellent I would definitely take that that's very much welcome three nectar okay so definitely playing a three food cost bird here definitely going to play something expensive so I imagine it's going to be uh, a bird for the center round goal, maybe a bonus card bird. Again, that's kind of what you're looking for uh, when you go wagtail. So we'll see what he plays, but um, yeah, probably not going to affect me too much. Oh, it's two. Okay, double play perhaps. Let's have a look. Triple play. Well, that's, that's solved multiple problems at once here. Um, instant forest out of nowhere. Okay, that explains laying eggs twice because, yeah, he needed uh, more eggs. Um, very well set up for this end of round goal as well. And, yeah, suddenly, big old forest <laughs> coming out of nowhere. Um, so that's definitely strong. And three nectar already being grabbed. I wonder if you might go Medlark here. I think Medlark would be a really good bird. I always like it with Wagtail and um, with the Fish Crow you can always discard off the the ground nests and actually we don't have a ground nest so I think uh, I think I might block that. Although I'll see actually if I get uh, I was going to say if I get a ground nest I'd actually want them to have it and give me more eggs but uh, I think I don't uh, I think I don't in this case so um, Chaffinch is kind of fun um, as is the goose I mean you know we've got good food access now with the nutcracker, maybe get some more seeds, maybe keep them and tuck them on the goose. Um, I think, uh, yeah, Chaffinch. Forest Chaffinch, we could do a little Sando going on. Um, so I think actually I might keep that. Um, Falcon is going to miss, unfortunately. Ooh, White Faced Heron's quite nice. Um, but I think I will. I think I will take these tucks and give myself uh, time to find something better. So another nice forest bird nutcracker coming up. 
but um, yeah, I think at least for the next couple of turns, I think I'm just going to keep keep drawing, keep using this wetland, see more cards, see what comes up. Um, I know now if I've got this chaffinch, I can always, I'll say, put that in the forest. And then if I need to take food, uh, I'm getting points for all these extra cards I'm drawing, so that's helpful. More food being taken over here, lots and lots of nectar, so that's definitely scary. We'll keep drawing. Hummingbird, okay. Um, that might work with the Omnivore. Oh, Stubble Quail, excellent find. Very, very happy with that. See what the Ibis can do. Well, another Omnivore bird in the Blue Jay. I will try and take these tucks. Falcon's doing me no favours here. Um, but Goldcrest is quite, uh, quite nice as well. We're getting, we're getting some interesting options. I think it would work if I had more eggs. But at the moment, I don't, so... We'll see. Um, as I say, it might come up later. I mean, I can always see 17 cards in the discard pile. So we will work th through those pretty rapidly if we're copying Ibis. Um, that is for sure. Um, and I just realised as well, we've got no bird for this end of round. We're, we're really struggling on these end of round goals. This this is probably... Uh, this is probably my own fault for... <laughs> They're not really looking at them, not really paying too much attention. Luckily, this is just a, just a casual game, so we can play a bit fast and loose, as I, as I think we have been doing. Uh, but we're starting to get a bit, bit of things going here, so I think... Yeah, I would be tempted, let's say, to get this hummingbird in the game, just with the omnivore and a bit of food. That could maybe feed the stubble quail that I think could be a good play for that last end around. Um, and maybe spend some nectar. Although we might not be competing much there. Because there's lots of nectar over here. And obviously the fish is going to help. Playing more birds of the wagtail helps. So Definitely want to watch out for it. Okay, drawing birds. I think, um, I think I'm going to do the same. I think I'm going to keep drawing. Whoa, okay, Blythorn. But well, I suppose that is... <laughs> that is technically a bird that I could play, but you kind of need an existing one down to make that work. Definitely glad I found that and not uh, not my opponent, because, yeah, that's great with the house runs. So. Um, Flamingo, well, probably not the game for you. Okay, got this Cormorant coming up again, and the, uh, the I was going to call it an Ibis, the Heron coming up. Um, but I think we keep tucking. I think probably actually Cormorant can get tucked. Falcon finally working, doing its magic. And uh, more tucks on the Ibis. So, yeah. We are going to need this Falcon to hit. We are going to need these points to keep coming through. But um, for now, at least. It's kind of working all right. So, I think if we do get a free egg, which I do hope we do, I mean, he's only got one. So I think we are going to see some more egg lane come through in this late game. Just to allow more birds to be played. Um, Stubble Quail would have been great over there. So glad I've got that. Um, and yeah, can make use of it. This, this Chaffinch could still be an option, you know. This Chaffinch could still work. I could play that, take food. And then... Maybe look at playing this quail. Um, but equally, just keep drawing cards and, and, and rely on taking food in the in the late game. Um, score points with the tucks, with the caches, and then, of course, the extra food as well going on the quail. I think that could work out fine. Um, but we will see. Okay, we do get a free egg, so... Does that mean I want to play the hummingbird? I feel like I don't want to give away free food here. I'm just mostly tempted because it's a it's a cheap omnivore bird. Um, but I think I think chaffinch I think chaffinch works well here in the forest. Um, so let's think about that. If I did chaffinch, I would do chaffinch food, and then I'd have to play something. And it probably the next bird I play would have to be this quail. I don't know I'm going to have enough food to use that fully. So I think, <laughs> just keep drawing, see what comes up. Um, see if we get so 
Let's see if we get the same options as before. Um, but let's keep taking the tux, I think, for now. Vulcan is going to keep working. I think we'll just keep on... Keep on tucking there, so... Yeah, not found the mute swan or similar that I was hoping for. That's the kind of bird you want to be copying with the mockingbird. Um, three points a turn is okay, but it, it obviously gets to the point in this game where you're getting late round three, moving into the end game in round four, where three points a turn doesn't quite cut it, so... We'll be looking for more, but I think, as I say, the Chaffinch unlocks potential here in these extra cards we've got. So there goes the Martin. We've added to Martin, so 100% going to be laying eggs here. Um, I think... Uh, I think we do play this Chaffinch. I think we do get this down, so we'll, uh, we'll play that here. And yeah, we'll see another egg come through from our Cuckoo, which has definitely helped out a lot here. And I think I do take food. It's, it's bad timing because I want to grab Nectar, of course. But at the same time, I'm going to need to take food at some point. And I think if I do it once now, um, it's once fewer I have to do it next round, and maybe one extra turn I get to draw cards with the fresh tray coming my way. So we'll certainly look to do that. And uh, that might be that might be key, because yeah, if Benelli or something pops up, I want to be able to go and grab that and get the benefit of it. So... We'll see. But here we go, free X. So yeah, these are these are helping tempo wise. Um, hopefully, we'll get some more birds started in the next round. But for now, we're going to take some food. And uh, okay, we're only missing out on one nectar, so I don't feel so bad. I think we will throw the card uh, for some extra food. So we'll do like so. We'll do tuck tuck. And I think tuck. We'll take the nutcracker cash. Uh, come on, strike thrush. Not this time unfortunately but still a four point turn still got some extra food which of course we could turn into points with this quail so points are looking all right really annoying to miss two end around goals but we'll try and put uh put that right i say in the last round with the quail so i think we're probably going to lose that although actually i mean only the one star nest we might see some more ground nests coming down over here but We'll see. We'll see what he's got planned. I say lots of lots of digging in that early game, and even of course, you know, you've got to dig with the wagtail. You've got to draw cards, I should say, with the wagtail, and more digging there with the martyr with the tucking. So I'm sure some good birds, uh, some nice big point birds, will appear. I'm very glad that, uh, yeah, some of these are in my hand because I think these two in particular would be very, very dangerous with the wagtail. Rufus Owl, okay, nice big point bird. Which I think is good, so another end over round golf win for my opponent. We come into the last round, all right. Not, uh, not the great, not the great options. Um, not the great options, but I think that's okay. So, do we just take do we just take food and throw all of these? I think we might do. Um, let's think about that. If we're going to take food, we're going to take food, we're going to play the quail, we've still got three extra turns. I think probably one of those will be drawing cards, or one of those will be taking food, or one of those will be playing something. So, do we draw cards now? Probably. Um, do I spend a food to reset this tray? I think probably not. Um, but I might spend an egg, given that uh, I think we're okay for eggs. And I think we're going to be able to turn this card back into a food, which gets turned into an egg. Um, but actually, you know what? Let's take. Uh, let's go two off the top first and see what that gives us not anything good so let's spend uh spend an egg and get another thing that we don't want 
Okay, yeah, Malafel, definitely too late for you. I think we're just going to tuck. Whatever's coming up here. Too many big birds coming up on this falcon. Definitely annoying. We'll take another tuck there. So, okay. Definitely not got loads of great options here. Um, which is a challenge. I wonder if we play the loon. So we do food. I wonder if there is a way we can get this loon down and then get an egg on it from the cuckoo. Uh, we might have to pay attention to if uh, if he's got to lay eggs on that last turn. Looks like that was a food action. It was the owl doing its job with the tucking. Um, but yeah, I think we'll take food here. We've already got a fish. Um, if, so if I'm going to take food twice and play birds twice, do I throw? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think I do. Uh, I do think I do throw for extra food. Because I think I want to take the tucks here. Uh, and I get three tucks each time. So yeah, it'll be food twice and then birds twice. I think that's the plan. So um, let's actually, we'll do it like this. So we can get the cash. We'll go tuck, tuck, tuck in the forest, take the cash, and take the cash here as well. So, not a lot of nectar coming up. I was definitely hoping for more nectar. Um, I was hoping to pull a bit of a bit of a swing in the grasslands, of course, with the uh, with the stubble quail. That could be super strong. It doesn't look like it's the case here, so. Red knot's going down, that's another ground nest. I do feel like we're going to see two lots of egg laying here. Because you need eggs, of course, to play birds, but also for the end of round. So, will you draw cards? I guess you draw cards and then lay eggs twice. And then you get two more nectar, and then you've got three nectar to play whatever big point bird you want to play at the end. So, um, I think given that, um, I might be able to sneak this down and get an egg on it. We'll see. Um, we'll see. For now, we are just going to, of course, uh, take food again. So, tuck, tuck, and tuck. Take the cash. Come on, strike thrush. One more. So, I think we can... I suppose it doesn't matter, actually. I was going to say we can keep this, but... It's a cash or it's an egg. I'll take it as a cash. Um, eight in total. I think that's pretty good. If I had to guess, I would say I activated it eight times, and it's got one each time, which I think is above average, so it's performed well, um, and definitely helped out with the point scoring late game in this forest, so we've had some four point and five point turns up there, and some three point turns down here, not the greatest, not the flashiest, but it's done the job, so there we go, drawing cards, I think this has got to be two lots of egg lengths, so we'll do stubble quail first, um, and make sure we keep uh, we keep some food. So keep one fish, one worm uh, to play our common loon on our last turn. Uh, and of course the eggs that we've got from that quail are going to allow us to do that. So not too shabby. Good turn, good points. And I feel like this has been an interesting game of like recycling resources into other things. So like we drew a lot early, we recycled those cards we drew into tucks up here, and then at the same time gained food, which then got recycled into eggs through this quail. So an environmentally conscious game, reusing and recycling, and we're going to end with no wastage, no food left over, no cards in hand, which I think is always a good situation to end in. And yeah, I'm hoping we can, we can pull a bit of a sneaky one. Um, because yeah, he's got the star nest and the ground nest. That's going to be two. I think unless we see, uh, I suppose like a, a bobolink or something like that, maybe coming in, um, at the end of the game here, or I should say at the end of the round with the wagtail. That's probably the only, or maybe I don't know. There's there's going to be some others that I can't think of off the top of my head um, that might be able to swing the end around goal but I don't know necessarily if he'll see the, the loon coming um, I think the quail was in the tray 
So I think that will have been known, but I think ordinarily you look at this situation, you go, right, they got one turn left. No other ground nests in play. There's no way of uh, of tying this set of round guard, but of course, that's where the cuckoo... If everything goes to plan, I mean, I could uh, I could get gazumped here because maybe, maybe he's not going to legs twice. Maybe maybe he's got Benelli, and maybe it's play an extra bird with the two nectar and then play Benelli with the wagtail. Um, I could certainly see that happening as well. But we hope. We hope that we can get a sneaky egg here. So we get one there from Cuckoo. Did he grab food? Yeah, grabbed an extra, of course. Time for the loon. So yeah, we'll take uh, uh, we'll take two of this quail. Matters very little. And yeah, six point birds. We lose the two eggs, but we get two more off on the board. So six points. I think that's fine. I... I could have done better off that. You know, this is the kind of bonus card you can easily score 10 or 12 points off, but I think you take 6. I think that's that's a pretty good effort. Um, and yeah, two bonus cards over here. I've not even really thought about what it could be. I suppose it could be a food web situation. There's a lot of those down. Um, but maybe I'm, th I'm feeling like it could be Rodentologist or Falconer, because with the owls in the forest, that would certainly make sense. Uh, and it, if it is a Benelli situation. Although I suppose actually, yeah, if you're going to play two birds, you're going to cost three eggs. So that would again uh, ruin the end of round goal a little bit. So I think I think we are going to be okay. I think it is only if it's a, if it's a bobble or another egg laying bird like that um, that comes in that would end up ruining um, our situation here in the end game. But we await with bated breath, and we'll see how it plays out. All right, so bad news. It was Eagle uh, of the Eastern Imperial variety, and then a booby with the Wagtail. But as I said, that did cost the eggs, so I think we are tying on the center round goal. So yeah, some very, very big plays at the end, and the danger is that booby has found some good bonus cards. We will find out shortly as we come into these final scores. So I think we've scored well, but I think... I think he scored well as well. So, yeah, surely we'll be a lead through the birds. What's the damage on bonus cards? 13, okay. Could have been worse, but that is pretty strong. We have got a bit of a mountain to climb because we didn't do so well in end of round goals or eggs. But caches, we were strong. Tuck cards, of course, in that wetlands was very strong as well. I think we are losing this nectar as well, though. So we are fully to a five-point defeat. Very, very close game. And uh, very, very well played, of course, on the wagtail. Let's take a look what the damage was on the bonus cards. There's the food web expert. Wetland scientist coming through as well for three points and two on bird counter. So, ooh, they didn't start with the food web expert. I wonder if that was drawn with the red knot or the booby. Uh, but definitely a nice one there. And um, yeah, as I say, some strong plays. Ah, oh, there's the chef chaff. We would have liked that earlier. Um, but eagle and booby at the end was enough to swing it. So one final look at our board. As I say, just didn't quite come together in the wetlands. Really, really did need that one extra tucking bird. But um, 100 points in the end, I think I'll take that. I think that's not a bad score. Uh, and a pretty fun game with, uh, yeah, the forest and the wetlands alternating as it was. And of course, as I said at the start, uh, Ultra Mognu is another content creator. He streams over on Twitch. Uh, I'll put a link to his channel down in the description. And uh, if you're quick, you might even be able to see this game. Uh, from his perspective over on the past broadcast. But you should definitely go and follow uh, his channel on Twitch and uh, show him some support on the live streams there. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this gameplay video and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon in another one.